Hello everyone, this is Yadav here and today we are going to be doing a video review of the Samsung Galaxy Note. So is this phone worth your money? Let's find out. The Samsung Galaxy Note has a 1.4 GHz dual core Cortex A9 Exynos CPU and it comes with a gigabyte of RAM. The main features include HSPDA Plus support and LTE support. It has a Super AMOLED HD capacitative touchscreen with an 800 by 1280 resolution which is a 5.3 inch screen size. It has Android 2.3.5 Gingerbread OS on it and it is also upgradable to Ice Cream Sandwich. The phone comes with a 16 and 32 GB model with a micro SD card support of up to 32 GB. And also the phone comes with two cameras, the 8 megapixel rear camera with an LED flash and a 2 megapixel front facing camera used for video chats. And the 8 megapixel rear camera is capable of 1080p video recording in 30 frames per second frame rate. The phone also has an S Pen stylus which is used for taking notes and other useful features like cutting, copying and pasting from browser images. The phone has a 3.5mm audio jack. It has the volume rocker towards this side. It has the micro USB port which also doubles up as an HDMI out for videos. It has the power switch on this side which is used for turning on and off the phone. The phone has everything from the top-notch hardware to the software but it does not have an NFC chip which is used for making mobile payments and reading business cards which are NFC capable. Now let's take a look at the user interface. We have the Samsung's TouchWiz 4.0 running on this device and uh, this has got multiple screens, it has got screen previews and it supports multiple widgets and icons and so if you want to add a uh, widget to the screen all you need to do is just select on home screen, long press it and you have the widgets, folders, shortcuts and wallpapers menu so you may add one of these widgets by selecting from the widgets menu and uh, these widgets are also resizable and uh, let's take a look at the applications menu so here you have the applications placed in a horizontal manner where you may scroll through them and by long pressing and holding it you may add one of these uh, shortcuts to the home screen I'm not going to talk much in deep about the TouchWiz 4.0 UI as it is similar to the Galaxy S2 uh, user interface. Uh, let's take a look at a few applications. So here let's look at the calendar application. Here I have a calendar widget and by selecting one of the dates here it takes me to the event list view for that day and by pinching into it I can go into a preview mode to see multiple dates and on further pinching into it we can go into even more in depth or to more, even more multiple dates and then it gets you the month view and then the entire year's view and by pinching away from it you get into the reverse order that is the month and then the couple of days and then so on and uh, finally you reach the current event list let's take a look at the browser so I have a page preloaded here and uh, this browser is HTML5 and Flash capable. As you can see the scrolling is very fluid and smooth and the text is very legible on this device. As you can see it's very crisp and the pinch to zoom is also very fluid and smooth on this device and by further pinching down you may also go into the browser preview menu where you can add multiple windows and uh, select any one of those windows to load up. You also have the landscape view and uh, this phone has a very nice uh, transition built into it uh, while switching from the horizontal to the landscape mode. All in all the browser is a very smooth and uh, nice experience. Uh, now let us take a look at the image and uh, video capturing capabilities of the phone. The phone is equipped with an uh, autofocusing 8 megapixel rear camera with an LED flash. And uh, as you can see, this is the uh, settings or the interface of the camera. So let's take a picture. Let's open up the image. As you can see the image quality is very nice. It is a little overexposed but nevertheless the picture quality is good. Let's take a look at a couple of the menu options. 
here we have the settings options and here we have the effects options where you may choose any effects to have some fun with the images you have the picture quality options you have the LED flash options and also this is the front uh, switching camera so the front camera is a 2 megapixel camera which you can use for video chats Let's turn it off. Now let's look at the video capabilities of the phone by switching this dial. Alright, now the phone is in its video mode. And in the settings options, you have a couple of options to set the video mode. Uh, the video quality is set to super fine. It's good. And the resolution, let's take it up to 180p. So let's sh shoot a video now. So the video is being shot at 30 frames per second in uh, 1080p resolution. As you can see the playback is pretty good. It is a little choppy but uh, the video quality is uh, really nice. So as you saw the phone has got good image and uh, video capturing capabilities. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, built in music application on the Galaxy Note. As you can see it is a very basic uh, app with uh, categorizations for the song like you have all uh, the playlists menu, the albums, uh, the artists and the uh, folders view and by clicking on the album art icon you may start playing the song and by clicking on the song name you enter into a bigger, ma bigger album art preview. So uh, here you have the uh, volume buttons uh, to in increase the volume and decrease it and you also have the 5.1 channel option for which you need a headset to be connected to it and uh, you have a very basic menu here so nothing uh, special with respect to the music player so let's look at the gallery app here as you can see the gallery is loading up very fast and it has got this accelerometer sensor thing going on and as you can see the picture loads up very fast and it is uh, ni nice and smooth in transitioning and also the color reproduction is very vivid and if you want to share it across you may do so with uh, email, gmail or uh, also with facebook and uh, google plus once they are integrated with the gallery and uh, from the gallery you may also uh, play videos and uh, let's play a video that we just recorded a couple of minutes ago so as you can see uh, the videos can be played from the gallery let us load up a game on the uh, note let's load up angry bird here the big screen size that is the 5.3 inch screen size is definitely a plus point while playing games on the device because it gives you a nice experience uh, due to the big screen area to have a very nice visual uh, view of the game and the graphics involved in it uh, as you can see the game has loaded up pretty fast and uh, let's see the animation yes uh, the game animation is also very smooth so like I said this big screen is definitely a very good uh, screen to play the games on and it is definitely a plus point uh, uh, coupled with the 1.4 gigahertz uh, dual core processor so definitely a good phone for games let's take a look at the phone application on this device as you can see it is a standard gingerbread phone application that you get for this device it's the same keyboard layout and the contacts are also the same standard gingerbread uh, contacts view that you get where you may scroll through them or use the thumb scroller to scroll through alphabetically you have the uh, categorizations also like uh, the favorites groups uh, the logs and the keypad which is again a shortcut to the phone menu so it is a standard uh, gingerbread phone and contacts app that you get on this device let's take a look at the messaging application as you can see we have a threaded view for the messages uh, let's create a new message let's enter the recipient's name and let's type in some text say hi uh, as you can see there's a nice animation built into it uh, for sending the messages and also here I would like to talk about the keyboard 
because of the nice uh, 5.3 inch screen size uh, the keyboard text are uh, spaciously placed and while typing uh, you have uh, very less errors and also the um, predictive text is very useful and uh, intuitive so that's an added plus point for the keyboard and uh, definitely the big screen size uh, is a comfort while using the on-screen keyboard um, and we have the notifications menu here where your messages and other widget notifications appear and also you have the control buttons for auto rotation uh, GPS silent mode Bluetooth and Wi-Fi now let's take a look at the uh, S Pen for which the note is uh, famous for so this is the S Pen it comes in the small notch here so this S Pen can be used to take in uh, notes like you would do on a standard note piece of paper so let's see how it's done on this note so by pressing the small button on the stylus and uh, double tapping on the screen you have the notepad opening up and here you may scribble uh, or write with your uh, S Pen uh, it does take a little time getting used to it uh, but it is a very good ad option and you also have some uh, effects and backgrounds here which you may choose and uh, write for your notes also this pen can be used for cutting and pasting from uh, a web page image or from the images in your gallery uh, the responsiveness is pretty good but it needs a little bit of calibration I guess and getting used to of course right time for the verdict now let me put it this way the goods of the phone are it is very fast and responsive, has a huge storage space, has an excellent screen, a great camera, a useful S Pen and a good battery life of 2500mAh and it is upgradable to ice cream sandwich. And the bads are, well the phone does not have an NFC chip so you may not be able to make mobile payments and the big size of the phone would make it odd to take calls at times and the S Pen is not that handy all the time. Well is it worth your money? It definitely is. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps you in determining if you want to buy the device. Please do leave your comments, responses and questions below. Until next time, take care.